Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called norepinephrine, or it's also known by its brand name, which is levofed. And actually in some areas, it's even referred to as noradrenaline. It falls under the class of sympathomimetics and vasopressors. So how does it work in the body? It stimulates the alpha and beta receptors, and this induces peripheral vasoconstriction, inotropic effects, and coronary artery vasodilation. We give it during shock unresponsive to fluid resuscitation that is not associated with hypovolemia. As always, before we get into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Nor Epi or Levofed is one of those medications that is definitely going to vary from area to area on what they allow in your protocol. So your dose is going to be 2 to 30 mics per minute, titrated to pressure and MAP. Or your pediatric dose is 0.1 to 1 microgram per kg per minute, also titrated to pressure and MAP. Contraindications can include hypovolemic shock, hypertension, and hypersensitivity. Adverse reactions can include but aren't limited to headaches, anxiety, dizziness, restlessness, dyspnea, bradycardia, dysrhythmias, the typical nausea and vomiting side effects, also acute renal failure, and chest pain. As for our drug interactions, when you combine norepi with MAOIs or tricyclic antidepressants, severe hypertension may follow. It is also incompatible with alkaline solutions and given with oxytocin, this may increase vasoconstriction. Okay, just a few side notes about norepinephrine. Many EMS services actually require an infusion pump when levofed is administered, and this could be on long-distance transports, but this could also be in the 911 EMS setting, so it just kind of depends on what your EMS service requires. Also, it's very important to make sure you have a really big, healthy vein, and also check for patency on your IV line because it can cause necrosis if your line infiltrates. Typically, you're going to see the effects of norepi about one to three minutes after your infusion starts, but the effects don't last long. It's typically just about a minute after it's discontinued. It's always good practice to consider fluid therapy first, so definitely give your patients some fluid even if you have to start bilateral lines and see if that increases the blood pressure before jumping right into administering Levofed. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol, medical direction, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.